Hey everybody, this is Michael with Mikey Does Outdoors, and I went back to Greenbelt Lake this weekend, this past weekend, and, and uh, decided to give it another try. The first time I was there, it was so windy I couldn't, couldn't really see straight. Hard to cast a line or anything, didn't really do that much fishing, but this time I did pretty good. I caught, well, I caught one on Saturday, then I caught four or five on, I guess four, on, for, on Sunday, and uh, I just used minnows. I didn't use any lures or anything, I just used the minnows and a hook and I think I figured out something uh, to deal with the grass that makes it made it where they're biting all right uh, but I'm gonna go back again and try it again and make sure that's what what was going on and then I'll let you know if it worked or not but anyway hope you enjoy it uh, I sure enjoyed going and doing it this weekend and if you did please hit the like and subscribe button thank you Here's a selfie at my campsite when I first got there to Greenbelt this weekend. Just thought I always could just do a selfie. Nice and green there. <laughs> Camper's all set up and ready to go. There's a different look at my camp. I always do a picture of my pickup and trailer. It's a nice easy trip over there. It sure is green out there. They've had rain just like everywhere else around here, which is great because we all needed it pretty bad. I think this place has come up a little bit. I've got a picture here. Uh, I think it looked to me like it probably come up two or three feet. It's not as much as some of the other lakes, but still, up is better than down. <laughs> That's for sure. And this is there's some trees where I've fished before. In, in 20, not, 2020, it was up to the, the the one sticking out down there. Here's another selfie from over there close to those trees. And this is a look. I, I fished down, that in, down there in the, on the beachy area. And... Uh, I caught a fish, caught several fish, one Saturday and a few more on Sunday. I had a good time. There's a selfie of me before I got started fishing. Hey everybody, this is Michael, and I'm at Greenbelt Lake. I'm actually going to get some fishing in this time. I bought me a dozen minnows to try. And so... We'll see what get out here and see what happens. I already got a fish, folks. I already got a fish. Holy cow. <laughs> Pulling like a good one, too. Fish. <laughs> All right, everybody, I got a fish. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't take any time, but he swallowed that hook. Largemouth bass that I caught on Saturday. It's the only fish that I caught Saturday, but it was good. It was fun, you know. Catch using minnows, you can catch all kinds of things. Same thing with worms. Lots of things eat worms and minnows. 
and it was a whole lot of fun. Then later that day, it got it showed on my my sensor 112. It was out and right in the bright sunlight, but even even weather bugs said it was 102. So next morning, I got up and went back out to try some more fishing, and I caught a few more fish. And I'll show you those here in a few minutes. Did I get a fish? I did. Ha! Huh. Well, that's funny. Look at this. I got a crappie. Ha! Huh. Look at that, folks. I done got myself a crappie. I'm not sure about the... Look at the crappie I caught. He's kind of a small one. Probably not a keeper. And I didn't really know him was on that pole very much. That was a big pole, like a medium heavy action. But uh, I usually catch those on ultralight. Makes it nice and easy. But thought I'd show it to you. Fun to catch. I think I got another. I do have something. I've got another something. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, that's a monster bluegill. What that is? Look at that sunfish. Wow. <laughs> and this time, I don't have to cut the hook. Mm -hmm. And a giant, we're as big as that crappie any day. Here's the, the bluegill I caught. He's pretty good size for a bluegill. Haven't caught one that big in a long time. But I thought it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> he he pulled my, my pole, my big pole, harder than the crappie did. Those bluegill are ounce for ounce or fighter fighting fish. Fun on the ultralight too though. Another one, folks. I got, a, I got a double. <laughs> this one is another healthy largemouth bass. Holy cow! I've got something on my other pole already. Y'all gotta keep choking it down. Look, everybody. Look, you can see that's a, that is a heck of a large mouth right there. And maybe there's something still on that other pole. I don't know. Thought somehow that had gotten them all, all mixed up, but huh? <laughs> yeah, I think he's still on there. Let's see. I'm gonna have to really tie that one anyway. I think whatever it is is still on there. Well, let's find out. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> There's a large mouth, probably. A little large. No, it got me wrapped around something again. That's what happened last time. Oh, 
I lost it, whatever it was. I think. No, I didn't. I got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Might as well run the gamut. That's a white bass. <laughs> this is a look at the largemouth bass I caught on Sunday. He was a ton of fun. Caught him on the, a bigger pole, and so it, it's not as much of a challenge catching him on that one, but it was still a whole lot of fun. And even, this one was longer and leaner than the one I caught on Saturday, which was a little shorter and, and chubbier, fatter. You know, but fun to catch. <laughs> no doubt about it. And then just using minnows and a hook. And he's kind of a long leader. There's the white bass or sand bass. He's the last one I caught because I ran myself out of live minnows. I tried to dent some of the dead ones, but they weren't biting the dead ones. And so this is... You know, I thought he deserved a little. He, those things are pretty tough fighters too. Kind of fun to catch him, and so <laughs> he can't beat the fun. Well, that was my time at Greenbelt this time. As you can see, I caught a few fish. Not did just fish. I caught them. I did some catching. Uh, that was always lots of fun, and I need to go back and spend more time sitting there doing just that, because uh, it's fun. Can't beat it. The tug of a fish on the on the end of that line. You know, that's it's a fun thing. And, uh, and it was lots of fun for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.